Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about three types of analytics descriptive, predictive and prescriptive analytics. Descriptive analytics is the starting point of any analysis or any work that's done in analytics. It's about answering a question what happened by analyzing historical data. For example, let's say you own a restaurant chain and you want to analyze your sales data from the past year, you would use descriptive analytics techniques to understand what were the sales trends, what were the most popular dishes, what were the busiest hours of operation. So it is the first starting point of any analytics task. Right? Much in the similar way, Google Maps typically uses descriptive analytics to analyze traffic patterns and provide you real-time updates on the best route to take, right? So, we then move on to predictive analytics, which goes a little step further and answers the question, what could happen? Essentially, it is going to use some statistical algorithms and machine learning techniques to forecast what is going to happen about some future events. Let's take an example of restaurant chain that we took, right? So with predictive analytics, you can say, what is the forecast sales for the next quarter? If there are certain price promotions, which of the dishes are going to have more uptake in the coming months? Also identify based on the patterns of the past, what are the sort of slowest hours of operation that I'm likely to see in future? So predictive analytics is typically about predicting what's going to happen in the future business uh, scenarios, right? Amazon typically uses predictive analytics to recommend you with products based on your searches as well as your past purchase history, as well as let's say other customers that are similar to you and that's typically predictive analytics. It is predicting what you will do given what you have done in the past. Finally, prescriptive analytics takes the analysis to next level in answering what should we do. It typically uses optimization and simulation techniques to suggest the best course of action. So going back to the example of restaurant chain that we spoke, with prescriptive analytics, you can optimize your menu to maximize profits, simulate different staffing scenarios to come up with minimal labor cost and come up with best pricing strategy to improve or increase your sales. On another note, UPS typically uses prescriptive analytics to optimize their delivery routes and minimize fuel consumption as they go on delivering the parcels. So these are just a few examples of how predictive, descriptive, prescriptive analytics typically are used in real life scenario. So in conclusion, you begin your analytics journey by describing what has happened. That is descriptive analytics. It is followed by some kind of predictive analysis where you predict given this has happened in the past, this is what is likely to happen. Over and above that, you put the pieces of optimization or simulations and then come up with prescriptive uh, analytics, which is answering the question, what is it that you should do, right? Not all the time we will end up using all three types of analytics. Typically, descriptive analytics gets used everywhere and is the starting point of any, uh, any work that we do in this field. But predictive and prescriptive analytics are also becoming very common with many of the businesses with increasing amounts of data and increasing awareness about the analytics techniques, right? And that is something we would explore much in detail in the following lectures. See you in the next session where we cover data and essential data types. That's the beginning of our journey into analytics. Thank you and see you.